Hi, today we're going to work on a little project that uh, is something I do a lot and you're going to end up doing this too. This is a stock photo of this cool wild looking horse and uh, the problem I'm having here is I need him to fit into this box and he doesn't. So I like the way he's cropped on the sides here. I really don't want to change that. Now, you know, the the cheat method is just to stretch your photo and if you don't do it too much hey you might get away with that but you can already tell that what I've done so what I'm gonna do is uh, something I like I said I do a lot I'm gonna copy this photo right here copy or your keyboard shortcut control C and then paste it now I'm gonna uh, hit shift and page down and now this is behind the original you see there's two photos and one's behind the original so I have the back one selected and I'm just gonna move it up till it fits my frame okay then I'm gonna paste it again once again, send it to the back, control page down. It's hard to see what I'm doing because it's three photos that are all the same, but I'll show you in a moment. Now I have three photographs and my original is the one in the front. You can see what, what I did here. Okay, that looks a little fake, obviously, down here. Um, I might actually move my front one a little farther down. But it's a good start, and you could probably get away with this. Maybe not. It looks too fake up here, yeah. But uh, by holding down Shift, one, two, three. And I'm going to convert the whole thing to a new bitmap convert to bitmap keep it low resolution for the video and now this is one bitmap which I can take into photo paint like this edit bitmap that's what I like about Corel draw uh, see if we can just clone a little bit of this to make it a little more realistic where you can see the seams and stuff down here so I'm gonna take my clone tool in there Plenty of settings, size, transparency, whatnot. Um, but I'm just going to kind of clone this stuff here like that. If you don't know how the clone tool works, I recommend you watch a couple other of my videos. And I'll probably make some more. What you want to avoid is this pattern. So just kind of sample the sky and make it random. This is not going to be scrutinized by anybody if it's just for a quick ad. I'll, I'll do the same thing down here. It's hard for you to see, but I got my clone tool. And I'm just going to kind of sample these flowers and clone it out. The, the main thing is that you make it look kind of random. So take new samples. Keep your tool moving. Um, you should be fine and uh, do see a little bit of a pattern so I'm going to add some more of that in there and really for all intents and purposes if this was for a quick ad um, nobody is going to look at this photo for more than a few seconds there's a little more up here and uh, you should be fine so I'm going to click out of here you can work on this as hard as you want. Save changes to bitmap? Yes, please. And get out of photo paint. And now it's one photo. And it looks halfway decent. I mean, if, if, if you really study it, you can see little inconsistencies here. But that's what I've done is without... Uh, distorting it I've made it fit into the space that I need and uh, I'm ready to go 
practice this. I think you'll use uh, this technique quite a bit. And I hope your next project goes well.